Some late night Summit League softball action tonight at Theraldson Park. The North Dakota State and South Dakota State softball teams faced three different weather delays today in their double header. The Jackrabbits took game one in extra innings with the Bison trying to even things up here in the closing game. Offense still hard to come by in this one. We're scoreless in the bottom of the fifth. The Jackrabbit pitchers continuing to dominate. Tori Knishi striking the batter out looking here, keeping us scoreless heading into the sixth. The Jackrabbits ending their scoring drought in the top of that inning. Allison Yoder chips this one into left center. It falls into an open spot to let Lindsey Culver cross home plate. The Jacks would score two runs in that half, bringing the Bison up to bat in the bottom of the sixth, facing a 2-0 deficit. They start to fight out of that, too. Cameron Maycutt sends this one through the infield. The Jacks aren't able to cover it up. The Bison with two on, and then the next batter would be walked, bringing Nicole Lucia up to bat with the bases loaded. She gets just enough of this one, sending it bounding down the left field line. Maycutt crosses home plate, and the Bison have cut the lead in half. But the Jackrabbits would respond in a big way. 8-1 to one, the final in Game 2 as well. Both games with the same final score there. SDSU walks away with a sweep. These two teams do have one more game left on the schedule. They meet in their series finale tomorrow at Theraldson Park. The Bison baseball team looking to secure a sweep in their conference doubleheader against Oral Roberts. This time it's NDSU opening up the scoring in Game 2. Charlie Hesse tattoos this one. The ball finds an opening in the outfield and rolls all the way to the back wall. Drew Sackett runs home from second, and Hesse's going for three. He slides into third, but doesn't beat the tag. That out brings the inning to a close, but the run will count. The Bison lead one to nothing. We're tied at one run in the top of the second inning, and a bizarre sequence helps the Bison reclaim their lead. Two runners on, and Caden Schwabe goes to bunt. The throw is off. The mark and the Golden Eagles can't seem to find the ball. Will Bush and Terrell Huggins both take full advantage, scoring on the error to give the Bison a 3-1 lead. Schwabe would score on an RBI single from Garrett Hill a couple of batters later to make it a 4-1 game. And still in the second inning here, Brock Anderson getting in on the hitting party. A big shot all the way to the back wall. It lands on the warning track, giving Hill plenty of time to make it home. The Bison with a massive 5-1 lead. And as he would stay that dominant for the rest of this Summit League doubleheader, defeating the Golden Eagles 10 to 2. The sweep moves NDSU up to 23 and 13 overall and 11 and 4 in the conference. Fingers crossed we'll finally get to see him play at home this week. The Bison are set to host Valley City on Tuesday. The Concordia Cobb are splitting a road series against St. Olaf tonight. The Cobb's taking the first game by double digits, but falling 10 to 4 in the closing game. Concordia now 10 and 9 overall and 5 and 5 against Mayak opponents. They host Gustavus Adolphus in a doubleheader on Tuesday. Stick around, we got professional baseball coming up after the bat.